So today we are previewing the Europa League game between Arsenal and Cologne. Now this was a game I was due to be actually going to, but due to work commitments and a change in job role at my company, I now can't go. Thanks for that. Although it is a pay rise, so <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't arguing. <laughs> um, as you can tell, I still sound absolutely fucked. I still feel ill. Um, I can barely breathe, so I'm going to rifle through this as quick as I can. Um, I'm, enjoy I'm enjoying the Europa League this season, I must admit, and um, it's been nice to see some of the young lads get a run out. Willock, um, Maitland-Niles, Rhys Nelson, even Enketia, and I'm hoping to see him as well on Thursday night. So, so yeah, it's been good. Um, Jack Wilshire as well, another one. Um, so yeah, I hope we top the group. I hope that we go out to Cologne and get the job done. Can't see it being an issue. They're bottom of their league. They haven't won a single league game all season, which is quite embarrassing, really. Um, we all know what happened when they came to the Emirates. They stormed the Emirates. They took over. Um, and it was the best atmosphere I've ever been in um, at the Emirates. So yeah, it was a, it was amazing. But let's hope, um, let's hope there's a good atmosphere over there as well. Um, now, my 1-11 to for this game is as follows. I am going with David Ospina in goal. I think that Czech's played a lot of games in a row recently. I think that Ospina's back in, um, from injury now. So, I think that he will be back in goal. I'm going with a back three. And I am going to go with Rob Holding. Um, this lad needs to start, start putting in some shifts and start doing it. If he wants to get back into the first, well, Premier League team as such. Um, so, I'm going with Rob Holding. I am also going to go with Callum Chambers, another one. Been at Arsenal a long time now and ain't really ever pushed for a starting eleven um, for a Premier League team. I know he's had a few injuries, but needs to step up his game. Um, alongside both of them, I am putting Matthew Dibucci. I think Dibucci's looked all right in the three games I've seen him this season. Um, and one of them, or two of them, might have been at centre-back. So, yeah, I think, he'll, uh, I think he'll fit in and do the job well. Uh, left back, left wing back, sorry, Maitland Niles, purely and simply because we haven't got anybody else. Everybody else is either a first team player or about 15. So, yeah, Maitland Niles. Uh, right wing back, I am going with Reese Nelson. Not the position I play in. I'd love to see this boy playing at central attacking midfield because he can rip anyone a new arsehole. But Wenger wants to play him at right wing back, so that's where I see him again. Um, now midfield, I'm going with El Nenny, and I am going with Joe Willock as the two in front of the back three. Um, Joe Willock is really impressing me. He's, he's he's actually a lot taller than I thought he was as well. So yeah, he's getting he gets about. He puts a shift in. He's a tall, big lad. He's a strong lad, and his engine's just immense from the games I've seen him. So the two behind the striker, I am going with Iwobi who came on in the North London derby. Looked all right as well. Put Alexis clean through on goal with um, about his third or fourth touch. So, so yeah, I'm going with Alexis. And I'm also going to go with Theo Walcott. Um, another player. You need to up your level, bruv. Seriously. Yeah, because you have been too shit for too long. So fix that shit up and let's pull it to bed. Um, and the striker. I am going with Eddie and Ketia. Eddie. Eddie, Eddie, I really want to see this kid smash it, man. I do. He is he's the only player in recent times, I'm talking like the last couple of years, that has actually got me out of my seat excited when he's running with the ball. Not many people can do that. Um, but yeah, I've, I see his goals up at Norwich. I was there that night. And yeah, the whole stadium gave him a standing ovation. So... Let's calm down, let's not get too excited, but we've got one hell of a player on our hands here and I really want to see him start in the Europa League on Thursday. So, so yeah, well, um, like I said, we've got Cologne. Cologne are shit. Their fans ain't shit. Their fans are superb. 
but that doesn't filter down to the pitch. This should be a comfortable, routine victory. I am going for FC Cologne, nil. Arsenal, four. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Subscribe, like, share, leave your comments down below. I'm out of here. I'm going to go and have a lem sip and try and get rid of this cold. Laters, peeps.